What's up guys? So here I am three years later. I finally made a video on this mod. Um, it's so big. There's so much to go over. So it's going to be a pretty long video. I'm going to cover as much as I can. And I'm going to talk about uh, questions I get a lot and uh, some problems people have had with the mod like glitches and stuff. Also, if you guys are interested in having custom things in the mod, like followers, weapons, dragons, or would just like to show your support um, and want me to keep updating the mod, um, you could show me that by going and checking out my Patreon. I'm going to link it in the description. I really pr appreciate the support. It means a lot to me just knowing that you guys use my mod. But if you want to support me or have me make you your very own follower in the mod, just check that out and you can read all about it. Just click the link. It'll explain it all. Anyways, this is just going to be kind of a tutorial of the mod. I'm going to walk through it with you guys and explain everything. Um, things that got deleted or changed, like the Void Forest. I've seen a lot of questions about that. Um, and the keys. I'll go over that a little bit. Um, so, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to get right into the video because it's going to be pretty long. Alright, so once you install the mod, uh, you're going to come to Riverwood and you're going to see a giant gaping void right across the river. You can't miss it. You open that up. To your left, there's the uh, change log, a user manual, which kind of goes over. Um, it's, that's kind of a mini guide to it because there's a lot to explain. Um, there's a, a guide. Uh, the change log which would tell you like what the updates are um this box right here is the spoiler rooms and that's so in case you don't want spoilers or to be too overpowered um you can't that's the key to all the doors that may have spoilers you know um even though everyone's probably played the game by now but um yeah that this is the crafting room right here Pretty self-explanatory. We've got like ton every ingredient you need, all the materials you need. Um, that guy's a vendor right there. Sells just tons of different random basic stuff. He's nothing special. Got chests all over the place with different things in them. Some of them got weapons, some armor. Uh, this place is the Dragon Hall. If you Please read this book. It explains the dragons are a little bit glitchy. That's why not many mods have them as followers, but you can literally talk to them and they'll follow you, carry your stuff. If you have to fast travel to get them to follow you out of the armory, or you could use the spell book that I just picked up, and you it'll let you summon them. It'll it, it'll be under powers right there. It's called the quest dragon, and the description will say which dragon it is. There's like fire, frost. Murex Dragon, the Bone Dragon. I used to have Parthenax and Aldolin, but I took him out. I don't remember why, but I took him out. This is a cheat room right here. You got the OP followers. They're all like invincible. The cheat chest has cheat spells and everything in it. God mode, unlimited magic and stuff like that. Uh, this is the modification chest. This one, all these perks, there's a, the number next to them is the item slot that they get equipped it in so you have 13 different slots that you can equip different things into that aren't used by armor or anything so that's what those use so if it's if there's two named number like hmm? there's two 13s that you want to equip you can't equip them both because they both go in slot 13. Um, all these barrels have tons of gold in them in case you need gold How can I assist? Pretty much it for that room. Uh, storage chests all over the place. The ones called storage won't refresh, so you can store stuff in them and it'll stay in there. This is the Hero Zoom. Oh, this is so what the reason I started this mod because I, I didn't think there's enough mods with unique followers and stuff. So you can get that means all the mm -hmm. crazy nice followers you Don't want that are in the game in here. Yes. See how the Sigic Monk of Vampires is. I mean, Ebony Warrior, mm -hmm. even though he's already a follower, but. Mm. And then if you go down here oh. and open this panel thing, down here is uh, custom followers. Yes, um, I made yeah. these. 
Obviously, they're not in the game, but they all have right. special abilities and um, custom spells. That's something. pretty interesting little something. Easter egg. Until next time. Over here, we've got the Daedric room with all the Daedric artifacts and the Daedric followers. You know, Hall of Battles. There's just a bunch of random enemies in there. This is the this is the main part of the mod, the custom armory. This has like all the different custom spells and stuff that I put in the game. Um. Yeah. tiny bit of vampire equipment in there uh, this ball has tons of different power books if you you can learn all these different powers in there some of them are in the game some of them um, are random things I made this is a bunch of custom spells tons of them um, you can look through all those I'm not gonna go over them because there's way too many and it'll take forever um, some weapons. Custom ammo in these, they all do different things. Some of them explode, some of them spawn things, some of them just look cool. Characters over there are just random NPCs that I found in the files that I thought were cool. Some of them are part of the storylines, some of them are just background characters or something. I just thought it was so I stuck in them. While this video is playing and I'm looking at stuff, um, I'm gonna talk about some of the glitches. Sometimes people say uh, the sky won't change green. Uh, to fix that, you could just fast travel or you could go back into the army and come back out and it'll fix the sky. Another thing I get a lot of questions about are uh, the keys. I don't even remember where the keys are. They're all in the game. I've seen some pe people say they're not, that some of them don't exist, but they all do. I don't remember where they all are, um, so don't ask me. You gotta find them. They're they're all. I think they're all in the armory. They're just some of them are in really hidden spots. But um, I, I probably will. I might add some more doors with more things in them later on. Um, I also something I used to be in the mod was called the Void Force. That's that place down below with like the boxes in front of it. You can't get in there anymore. I deleted it. I um I accidentally deleted the room in one of the updates and I saved it. And I didn't realize I deleted the whole entire room by accident. So I, I don't know if I'm going to remake it. I might. Um, like I said, we'll see. So if, if you guys want to see any updates, uh, comment and let me know. Because I'm not going to update it if no one's using the mod anymore. Like, I don't know how, how Skyrim still seems to be pretty popular. So I might update it. Like I said, it's fun. If you haven't made a mod before and you want to, I definitely suggest doing it, it's pretty cool. There's so much you could do. Like, I didn't even mean for this mod to get this big. I just had a good time making it. And then, yeah, this is the teleportation room. You can go anywhere. Um, not anywhere, but a lot of different places. Um, back behind here, there's the tester cells. Those are, it, those are just random cells in the game. I did not make them. So if they're glitchy, it's not my fault. They're in the game. They're, they're, uh, the like dev testing cells so when they were making the game they just th those are in the files i just put a door to give you access to them some have interesting things in there up here is just a ran bunch of yes. uh vendors mm -hmm. and they all sell like interesting things um that little shop to the left right there that i just passed uh that white ro that white run wizard guy foringer Sacred Fire, whatever is in there. He is just called 400 Sacred Ice. I just renamed him. But it's the same guy. He sells all the same stuff as him. 
Um, this guy sells what uh, ammo, like custom ammo. He can also be a follower, so can these guys. Only at a certain time of day though. So you have to come at the right time for them to follow you. Uh, this guy sells some cool stuff. I might add some more vendors up here if I update it. Um, also, once the, after this video is out, this is this video is not the updated gameplay. So there's gonna be more people walking around <clears throat> after the update. Like uh, it's just gonna be random people that spawn in. Some of them will be vendors. Some of them will just be random people. Down here, there's two rooms. You you gotta find the key to. They're they're not nothing crazy. There's just some interesting items in them. Um, right there, that's where the void forest used to be. I don't know if I'll put it back in. It's a mystery door hallway. That's where there's a bunch of keys that you can unlock certain things in there. The leveling room. Um, this room, you can level your character up really quick. Um, you just take one of the swords out of here. They all level different skills. Um, all you do is take one, you kill one of the sacrifices, and it's like it'll level you up like 60 times in whatever class or skill sword you have. Um, there's also a, another door, so you can see it back there. Um, I'm not gonna go in there because it's really loud. I don't wanna give you guys ear rape. Um, but so if you go in there on your game, just make sure your volume is down because there's tons of uh, dragons technically. When you kill them, you get dragon souls and it's the same thing as these guys except they're really loud because technically they're dragons so it's like a hundred dragons in one room breathing so it's really loud down here is a small door I'm not gonna go in there I'll let you explore in there same with this one they're just little easter egg things they're just funny and here is the uh, tons of wizards that I put in. They all there's um a bunch of custom spells being sold by them. There's um a wizard for every magic class, and all these different buildings. They all sell different stuff. I might add more wizards when I update it, and make it look more alive. It takes a lot of work to make these things by yourself. I just haven't had the time and been busy. guy sells all the power tones, tombs, whatever you, however you say it. Um, and if you fall in any of the places that are like this, um, it's fine. You won't die or anything. You'll just teleport back up at the top conveniently. <clears throat> but um, for now, that's pretty much it. There's some other little shops here. Um, I don't even remember what these guys sell. It's it's been so long. Um, it's, like, it's been so long since I played Skyrim. Yes. Um, you have your own little cabin right here. Got uh, the, there's the key, the key in the box down below. Um, a lot of people miss that. And over here, you've got all the crazy creature followers and Atronox and stuff. They all have voices because um, they have to. I don't know how to make it so they don't talk. Um, it, it messes with the dialogue. They have to have the dialogue if you want them to, to be a follower. Other, 
Otherwise, you have to put scripting in. And then, like I said, it wouldn't be compatible with PS4. And the biggest um, part of this mod is that it's compatible with PS4, because I know they don't get a lot of cool mods because of that reason, so. Let's see here, I'm, I'm reading uh, some of the comments. Um, people are saying some of the uh, followers can't leave the room. If that happens, if they can't leave, just fast travel and they'll appear next to you. If you change um, one of the NPC's voices to something it's not for some reason, um, it'll dis like disfigure their face like that. Just what happens when you make them a follower. And if I were to fix that, it wouldn't be compatible with PS4 because I'd have to put in external scripting, which isn't allowed by Sony. So it's, unfortunately, that's not going to be changing. There's a comment here that says uh, it's a little unorganized. Yeah, it is. Um, I wanted to organize it. Um, I didn't intend for the mod to get this big. Um, um, oh yeah, and on that note, I want to say thanks for making this mod so big. It's, yes. I can't believe it has 14,000 ratings. Can't, and that has over a million downloads. That's nuts. It has two million downloads with all the platforms combined. That's insane. I never imagined... I thought maybe you'd get like 200 downloads at most. Like, it just baffles me. So that's pretty cool. Thank you guys. It means a lot to me. I saw someone mention Dragon Shouts. Um, I used to have Dragon Shouts in it. I took them out because it was really glitchy. And um, I don't really understand how they work in this game. It's like weird how they're added. So I, I just didn't put them in. I took them out. I, I tried. At one point I had a room for him, but it was just so glitchy and it was giving a lot of bugs when you used it, so I just thought it'd be better to take it out. And if you guys install other mods that add things to the level leveling list, like spells and stuff or different armors, it'll show up in the vendor's inventory too. Uh, just a little side note there. Um, so this mod is really good with other mods. Yes. It adds a lot to it. I had to figure for an age. I think it looks Yes. But other than that, I think that's pretty much it for this. Um, if you have any questions or any suggestions, if you want me to update this mod, just leave a comment below. I'm going to be reading them all. Um, I just started this YouTube channel, so I'd appreciate if you shared a little love and like this. So if you want to stay posted, um, I'll probably post an updated video on the mod in the future. And uh, so subscribe if you want to see the status on that. Looks like that's it. Got to go.